the sunflowers here are in full bloom. If you can take a look right here, they do look pretty good, but a lot shorter than they have been in years past. So these are standing maybe two, three feet tall before last year, years before that six feet at least they would be. And it would be difficult to see between the rows. Uh, so this is a, just a look uh, of how the water, the lack thereof is impacting our crops and our flowers, uh, also crops in our area. We've got a lot of uh very small years. Jesse Pettit inviting me to his Benson farm and showing me the rows of corn that were ruined by the drought. You, you can't, can't sell it. People, people want perfect. The rain this past weekend certainly has helped, but our state is still abnormally dry. Pettit says corn, cantaloupe, and watermelon have been impacted the most. He invested in drip line piping to provide extra water to his crops. Pettit says he ran up his water bill a few thousand dollars trying to save fruits and vegetables. Not only are some of his crops ruined, he's holding off on planting other produce, such as squash and cucumbers, until we get consistent rain. It's so dry and it's just going to die. It gets discouraging at some times, but you just have to keep having faith and that it's going to come, come together and it will. Keep pushing. There you go. Keep the faith. Keep pushing. We will get our produce, but just perhaps a little bit later in the season than we were anticipating. As you can see here, the city of Raleigh has also uh, placed these drip lines along all of the sunflowers. There's also wildflowers that are growing here. So perhaps these might get a little bit hotter as we do have some uh, rain coming in the forecast. But for now, pretty short, not where you're used to if you come down here to the sunflower field at Dick's Park, Steve.